it feels like it's been going on. Actually, to me, this honestly feels more like the second MSM than MSM 224. Or something. Right. It's because I feel like we just, I feel like we should just start MSM from from the beginning. MSM one, MSM two, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it, it, it feels like a brand new chapter. It's been that long since offline. Yeah. Uh, so it is just again reiterating, fantastic to be back as we get back into this third game of our stream. Yeah, and this one game of our stream will entail Young Link versus Team Oh, Diddy. all right. Uh, C. Sesto versus Beef. I'm, I'm hope I'm saying this. Sisto? I feel like it is Sisto. Sisto, that looks right. That, yeah, that, 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 yeah right. Sisto versus Beef. Sisto on that Young Link, of course, and then Beef on the Kingdom Uh This is a matchup that's kind of... Okay, online, honestly, I know it's going to be the weirdest. I know what you should be talking about online. Online, King Giddy is a menace. Offline, Young Link has the tools and the opportunity to just punish King Diddy at the distance. And unfortunately, King Diddy has to do so much to close the gap because of his slow air speed. This is so big for Young Link just to have so much air speed against him, projectiles, hitboxes, you name it. Young Link's toolkit is a check mark on King Diddy as a character. You can already tell. Only 60% to size this Yeah, absolutely. Uh, King Diddy uh, can be an absolute trap menace, especially uh, once he is in the advantage state, when he's. Uh, Stage control. He sets up those proto traps. Uh, it can be like it, it can be horrific getting back to stage sometimes. Yeah. And oftentimes you can just set up for his kill every single time when you try to get back to stage. Uh, but in this matchup right here, uh, you know the fantastic thing about like DDD, uh, the him, you know, is that Gordo. Uh, but you know someone like you know Juggle uh, here who has the onslaught of faster and I guess uh, more variable. Yeah. Uh, Projectiles can obviously his ability that. to close the gap while still having projectiles out there, not only to control your opponent in the air, that you can tell he angles the boomerang. So if King Deity is trying to go for an aerial, trying to jump around him, he has to worry about getting hit. He has to worry about Gordo being stopped by. If he tries to be at the distance, you have to watch out for things like my fire out that'll confirm to a forward air or a read against you. And that's the, the thing here about Sysesta being the only main is that you just pretty much trap King Didi in all his comfort spots. And it leaves a lot for the match to desire. That down air, man, lasting so long. This gives Sysesta a three stop in here. That up air will not be enough. Sysesta so still using that directional air dodge, still having enough invincibility to grab the ledge. Yeah, and like I've seen every action that he's doing, I I play very frequently against a very gifted uh, TV, and I've had the luxury of playing against Tank quite a few times as well. Oh yes, another, I do another, remember Tank. Yeah, another very well known uh, DDD. And I, 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 I can see everything that this uh, beam DDD is going for, but everything is either being uh, misspaced or just simply the time. And uh, Saito uh, is just getting all the computer just looking at him. Uh, he is really walling out the speed. You can see he's already at 140%. He's still struggling uh, to get that stock and mm -hmm. actually gets three stock. For Slice Nesto, that's really good demonstration of tech skill because he's able to hit that backer one into that up smash to get the stock here up against his opponent. So that's really good for him to just demonstrate. Like he knows how to get the how to get the percent, but most importantly, how to close the stock with the combos. That's the thing that Young Link can falter at times. If you're not closing your stocks or as soon as possible, you will have you will encounter a bit of a Sheik problem where Sheik gets you at that high percent, right? But killing can become an issue. And this this is an issue that Sheik had in Smash 4. Ultimate things have changed. Of course, we saw Void last week definitely pour out his heart and soul into the character oh, yeah. and show off with that. Yeah, that was, incre that was an incredible display. Yeah, uh, but that's good though. That's what I'm liking from Slice Astro so far. Is like he is not afraid to demonstrate the tech skill, but the tech skill is important for you to be able to close out stocks with Young One. Because otherwise, from that, they're throwing projectiles, and your opponent will have a chance to come back. And they get the character like King Diddy, who's a heavyweight. You don't want to give him that opportunity. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And we are seeing Northern Cave now. Uh, yeah. That this season, yeah. Somewhat oh, exclusive to SoCal yeah. for some reason. It, it because because Kalos and Northern Cave are very similar. We okay. have elected to have a Northern Cave over Kalos. I am extremely excited. I was just about to ask if you think we would have seen a uh, character pick. I myself am a Violet fan, uh, okay. and you do not see too many Violets, so I'm actually uh, extremely excited to be able to compensate this right now. Now, Violet uh, is such such a fun character, uh, but of course, you know, in this matchup, it could be extremely rough. But Violet just has those potential combos that. It's almost its own comeback mechanic, how quickly Violet's still at the spot. It's scary. 
Uh, and if you do not have the, uh, the experience to get the pilot, it can be really rough. Uh, you know, uh, MK Leo kind of being the uh, obvious front runner for this character and showing exactly what kind of capacity this character uh, has to offer. Uh, it is incredible, you know, even a character as strong and commendable as uh, Calisthenic here can have quite a hard time if they don't know the matchup. This is another character where you just don't see too much. Yeah, and the thing about Violet 2 as a character is just the character's skill gap and skill ceiling requires so much that you there are other characters that do as much as Vive within less effort or better better opportunities. Uh, case in point here, Sephiroth, right? Violet is a distant demon, but Sephiroth is just so much better than everything Violet tries to do that it makes you really evaluate the character as where they can probably fit in the meta. And unfortunately, Violet is a character that's kind of lost in the meta. Violet having the same issue somewhat that Corrin had in Smash 4, where Corrin was good, but somewhat lost in the meta. And unfortunately, you know, we do have one more patch. Hopefully we will see Vyvek get buffed or set changes. But unfortunately, that neutral air will go to show off why I'm saying Violet is so good, but the issue that Violet has to do is that you have to always distance yourself. You have to have good speed. You can't lose the neutral. And unfortunately, Violet's tools doesn't have good run speed. Doesn't have that many great aerial mover movement. And unfortunately, characters like Palutena can close the gap within seconds. That when you're when you're suppressed like that, you will have a hard time here. But good stuff if you're finally able to get that forward and snuff with it. Takes 55 here, but hopefully he can come back. Because you can tell he's gonna have to look for a way to land. And unfortunately, that air dodge is a lot of commitment here. That's great. Read that back though. No, what a way to! Oh, uh, was going for that hard read for that spike. Um, but uh, one thing you were uh, mentioned before is like the buff of Violet. Violet actually got a couple of very generous buffs like, two patches ago. Uh, but one thing, the one thing that Violet really, really struggles with is having shield. Yeah. Everyone has something that's either like double the speed or better. Violet only really has the Nair, uh, which is, which honestly, it's a very good tool. Uh, but it still is a little on the slow side. And obviously, if you can time like a whole play, uh, jump out of shield if you're, uh, if you're smart about it. Yeah. But other than that, like. You can get the up B, but that's at a certain percent. But like, if the character uh, just has something faster, like it's still not quite enough. Yeah, and unfortunately, even then, having a tether was still not quite enough. Uh, going from the low defense, Paul, Tanner, will have quite some frames 